Hi, welcome to the ASP.NET Web Form and Entity Framework Learning by Example Project. Today in this video, I would like to show you how to display the list of product on the new page. Okay, so you can see on the top menu, we have a product link here. When you click on this one, it will open the uh, product management page. So I think I should change the name here to make it clear for everyone. So in today I will create a, another menu on the on 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 the navigation here. So I should it should I will name it a product list. So when the user click on the product list, I will display the list of product. It look like the news product on the home page here. Okay, so now let's get started. I will open the Visual Studio. Go to the side matter. Go to the menus. Okay, here I will change it. E product management. And I will create as a page e name it e product lead. Okay. So here, actually, when you click on the product management, it will direct you to the management page of the product. So when you are working in a website project, you should the user have to enter some the username and password in order to be added the new or modify the existing data in the system so now in this tutorial i don't i don't uh, I, I don't implement the feature to allow the user to access into the system by using the login feature so i will display on here on the same page okay product lead so now i have to build the the the, the solution to make it work Refresh again. Yeah, product lead. For now, it is empty. We are going to have to write the code for this. Okay. Close this one and I will open the product page to copy the code. It should be the same thing. I will open the default page to default. Okay. I read it this.
I will copy the code of user control for product file product I will create another control and name it is a product lead control user control Copy the repeater. It should be the same. Okay. We will go here. Copy. Okay. Close this one. I will change change the repeater to product listing. List. Okay. So we have a product logic here. Click on this, and in the product logic, we call the the function from the product data asset layer. Yeah, get product lead here. So this data asset layer will have to work with the database to get the lead of the product and return it to the client side. Okay. Cool. Fill the code here. Instead of take five records, so we will take all of the record here. Open the product. Please remove this one and I will drop and drop the new user control into the product lead path. Product lead user control. Yeah. So after that, when you drop and drop the user control into this path, so it will automatically add the uh, line of code to do the registration for this user control. Okay, cool. Build the project. Fail. Product leads. Let me see. We are using the same name. Okay, so let me remove this and create it again. Sorry for that. Okay, copy it. And I will delete product lead. Close this.
Ok, cool So now open the browser And refresh this one mm, Ok I have to link it again in the side matter Product lead Copy Side matter Click on product lead. Yeah. So after that, when you when you direct in directed into the product lead here, it display the list of product all of the product in the system. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. For now, we have eight product. And on the home page, we are only display the latest five product. Okay, cool. So click on this one to view the detail here. And for now we are reusing the detail page of the product management. So we are able to create another page to display the detail of the product on the client side. Okay, cool. I will do it later in another video. Okay. So I think that's all for today and after you finish this video you know how to create a product listing on the uh, in your system. So I hope this video will be helpful for you and do let me know if you see any issue. Bye bye and talk to you later.